them with you. What allowed you to get in such a good rhythm today? Uh, he was he was a big part of it for sure. Um, you know, I, he put something down. I went with it, um, and that's uh, I think that's when you talk about rhythm, that that helps create that for sure. And just um, you know, after the rain out, I had a little extra, a, a few extra days to kind of work on some stuff and and uh, iron some things out. And I think we did a good job with that. And you know, I just try to take it into the game and and uh, and just trust it and you know continue to continue to, to to trust it. He had mentioned that you and Larry had worked on your windup a little bit. What exactly did you guys tweak, and how did that translate on the mound today? It was a rhythm. It was rhythm. It was. Uh... <laughs> Excuse me. It was rhythm, uh, definitely when you're, uh, you know, staying back over the rubber. Uh, you know, I, I'm pretty quick to the plate a lot of times and, uh, you know, just trusting that, you know, you don't have to, you're, you're quick enough. You don't, have, you don't have to be any quicker, especially runners on base, but even from the windup, uh, just, just, just stay on top of the rubber and, and deliver a pitch. You had a lot of success in Oakland and, and to come here and not pitch like you can to finally do that do you almost feel like more part of the team what's the feeling like just to, to go from pitching like showing them how good you can be i felt a part of this team the whole season um just because you go through a struggle doesn't mean you're part not a part of the team um so i think that's kind of ridiculous um but um but no i mean i, I feel good i mean it was we want to continue to win series and that's you know that's what we accomplished today and you know, we'll get on the, the plane and, and head to Texas and, and try to win another one. Sonny, is it meaningful for you that you do get through eight economically your longest start of the year? Yeah, it was. Um, especially, you know, the Sunday day games. Um, you never know what kind of shape you're in. Um, but it was big. I mean, I wanted to, I really wanted to get that last out in the eighth without giving up the run. Um, but, you know, the walk and then the single at the middle. But, you know, thankfully we were able to bear down and, and strike out Solaire there because um, that's something that could have escalated and, um, you know, glad glad that it didn't. Do you feel like this is something you can really build off of? Yeah, I mean, I felt good my last four or five times out. I mean, I know the results weren't great my last start, but at the same time, I, I felt good and I felt like I threw the ball okay, just gave up some homers. And, uh, you know, I, I, yeah, I feel, I, I feel really good, especially we'll moving forward. Sitting there, are you starting to think no hitter? I know you. I think you took one of the eighth inning on some moment down so easily there. Did you, you know what's going on there at that point? Yeah, you realize it, but um, I think if you are going to give up a hit at that point, it's best to do it with with two outs in an inning. So uh, you know you can kind of kind of try and shut it down after that. So uh, yeah, that's kind of best case scenario for me. Pitching aside, has it been fun for you to watch this offense go to work? It's crazy. I mean, it's so much fun. Uh, you know we. we it's at the point we kind of just, I mean, it's expected every day. And that's, uh, you know, that's a lot of, that's to do what we've been doing is a, is a lot of expectations. And, uh, you know, the way this offense just continues to carry it out is is overly impressive and, uh, and really fun to watch. So many first pitch strikes. Uh, for those of us that are watching upstairs, it seemed like the game was really clicking along. Did it seem like that to you? Yeah, I knew, um, you know, I wanted to attack. I wanted to attack. And that was, I mean, that's huge. Anytime I... Anytime I'm getting ahead in the count and feeling confident where I'm where I'm putting the baseball, um, you know I feel really good about the about the results. Well, Sonny could do about anything he wanted to. Take a look at what he threw today. The fastballs, probably more two seamers and four seamers, I would say, over that, but averaging about 93 miles per hour. And then 22 sliders, 19 curves, great mix on that, which I think kept the Royals off balance. I love the one changeup, and Bob, you remember I talked about simplifying the pitch selection. I thought maybe he should pick curveball or slider. Well, obviously, he went away from the changeup and threw both of his breaking balls, and that worked out quite well for him today. But the one word we heard in that interview was trust. And obviously, Larry Rothschild deserves a lot of credit because they figured something out in his side sessions. And the biggest thing for an athlete when whether you're a pitcher or a hitter, is trusting the work that you do on the mound or in the cage that it's going to work in the game and trusting you don't have to do anything more. So this is a huge start, maybe a huge step forward for Sonny Gray saying, I trusted what I worked on 
it worked. Eight innings, only one run. I mean, that this could be a huge step forward for him. If that was a message delivered to him, I then give him credit because he has to buy in. And to this point, he hasn't. He found something that he could relate to. Yeah, and you feel it as a, as a pitcher or a hitter when you work on it during the side. And I think about Didi Gregorius the last couple of days working in the cage. You feel it. You feel it and say, yeah, I have it. But it's a big difference taking it into a ball game and trusting that it's going to happen. So that's why I get to this point about Sonny Gregorius. Ray, when you trust it and it shows up and all of a sudden the confidence is there, it could be a big step forward for him. You hope he can back it up yep. in his next start.